Hi everyone, it's Holly here. I'm Paul underscore Ward on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to me here. I post every single week and don't forget to head over to Instagram and follow me over there. Today's video is a contour tutorial, step-by-step -step easy tutorial how to contour your face using cream and powder bronzer all in one product which makes it easy and also with a brush that has the cream contour and the powder brush all in one so it's just two products the full contour bronzing routine that you need really nice simplified version for people that might be intimidated by it so this i've been using this product for a long time it's one of my favorite bronzing products for like a subtle natural contour bronze look year round so this is the patrick ta cream contour and powder bronzer duo and i love it obviously powder part and then up top is the cream part i think i was mixing something on here obviously a mirror the brush that they have it's their contour brush i love good brushes they make such a difference in makeup application and honestly i enjoy the process of applying my makeup so much more this is the powder end here and then this is the contour side here i'm going to go through these products a little more in detail as i apply them to my face and show you guys the tutorial i was using she sculpted that's one of the shades this one i just got is she's statuesque so it, honestly i think most people can use different shades depending on your mood amount you apply obviously with a lighter shade you can apply less and a darker shade more so anyways i'm going to stop talking and get right into the tutorial and talk about these products so i have applied my basically all of my other makeup i just left this for the end so i could show you guys how i apply my bronze and contour it's such an important part of my makeup look honestly it just will not look finished unless i do this so using this skinny side of the brush you can see what it looks like it is kind of compact and flattened and at an angle so that's perfect for contouring this product is very blendy so you can be generous with the amount you apply and then i go right underneath Kind of where obviously a natural hello in the cheek would be so you can see from side to side what i'm talking about here i'm gonna go through and apply go through and blend it and show you guys what that ends up looking like i sometimes go in and use a smaller brush for the nose but this is working pretty good to me like it's actually quite thin and precise but also applies it quite softly so honestly i'm not gonna have to do much blending with this product i'm gonna apply a bit here too i don't do this all the time because i find my makeup gets all over the place but if when you want to look really defined it's really nice to put it there This color is like quite natural, so you can barely kind of see it on camera, but that's how natural it is. I'm sure you can see the transformation in my coloring. I always put along my forehead here, depending on your own face shape. I have a like larger forehead, so I put, I like putting lots of contour and bronzer on my forehead here. If you have a smaller forehead, for example, you probably wouldn't want to do that as much, just maybe some bronzer. So depending on your own unique features, you kind of change the contour look, but this is like a general type of contouring for everyone. This contour blends in so easily. The contour color is very cool tone. So keep that in mind, like you don't want to go overboard with it or it will kind of look a bit dusty. We're just adding that color to hollow out. Our bone structure and then go in with the more warm color. That's more of like a bronzy color. Now we're gonna use the fluffy end of the Patrick Ta brush. This is the powder portion, so it's a lot warmer in color, but again, all of Patrick Ta's powders are very finely milled and buildable. So 
they're never too strong with pigment. They're very gradual and blendable. So it'll never look like you're wearing too much because it just blends so soft and seamlessly. So I just kind of do soft blotting motion and kind of wisping into the hairline. To see a difference, this side of my face is a bit more warmed up now and it also sets that cream product so it won't move and it will last the whole day. I like adding some on my temples just to add some warmth here too. That's where the sun would kind of hit me. And then along the nose, I'm just barely gonna put any. Cause I like the nose to be a little more precise. With placement, kind of just looks like I did something, but you can't really tell what because it looks so natural. Such an essential step in my makeup routine. It just adds so much to any look. Love this product just for the natural factor of it and the, the user friendliness of it because it's only two products, it blends so well great for beginners that is my tutorial and review on the patrick ta cream contour and powder bronzer duo and the contour brush absolutely love this it's an essential in my makeup routine hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and will take some of my tips and out this contour bronze tutorial soon don't forget to like this video down below follow me here at hall underscore ward on youtube and don't forget to head over to instagram and follow me over there as well at hall underscore ward as always i hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.